Hi travelers, today we are at Santa's Village in New Hampshire. This Christmas themed park is located in Jefferson, New Hampshire in the White Mountain National Forest. It's two hours from Manchester Boston Regional Airport and about two hours and 45 minutes from Boston's Logan International Airport. You'll know you've arrived when you see the 30 foot yellow sign in front of the parking lot. The exterior of the park has undergone a facelift since I was here as a kid. The sign at the front of the parking lot looks bright and refurbished, and the facade at the entrance also looks newly painted and refreshed. There's still a large drummer boy slide just outside the exit of the park, as well as an interactive Rudolph at the entrance. You can actually talk to him and have a conversation. Santa's Village is a very clean park, with recycling and trash bins all across the park. It's nicely landscaped with mulch, plants, and small trees and bushes. This park is geared towards families with a lot of rides for children under 13. My favorite rides are the sleigh ride, which is a skyline-like ride that takes you around the park for great aerial photos, the Great Humbug Adventure, which is an indoor dark ride where you shoot a laser at little bugs in a not haunted house, and of course I love a good flume ride and Rudy's Rapid Transit Coaster. And as a Christmas themed park, of course there has to be an elf themed scavenger hunt. At the front of the park, you can enter Elf University, where you're given an index card with all the letters of the alphabet. You carry this card around, and every time you find a little elf statue, you simply stamp your card with the elf. Once you've found all 26 elves, you'll have stamped every letter of the alphabet on your card. Bring that card back to Elf University and you'll receive a certificate of completion along with a small prize. Our prize today was a pencil. Santa's Village opened in 1953 as a regional home for Santa and his reindeer. The people who created the park were inspired by the wildlife in the White Mountains and thought it made a great place for a pretend North Pole. In the 60s, other attractions were added, such as playgrounds and restaurants, and by the late 80s there were even more rides and amusements, making this a full-blown amusement park. Many celebrities from New England love to come back year after year with their families, such as Mick Foley, a former pro wrestler. Santa's Village will always have a special place in my heart. I came here several times as a child and always loved getting a blacksmith ring and finding all the elves. Coming back as an adult was a lot of fun as well. My mom even got to come and she really enjoyed it as well. While this park is fairly small, you can easily spend the entire day here and I do recommend that. If it gets too hot in the afternoon, you can cool off on the water slides or at the water park or at one of the two splash areas. Because of the theming of the park, the attention to cleanliness, and the way the park has been maintained, I'll give Santa's Village a 4 out of 5 stars. I don't know when I'll give a full 5 stars, I guess I'll have to be incredibly amazed in order to give out that golden rating, but what do you guys think of Santa's Village this year?